Let's talk about multiplication. Let's say that we have three families. Three families. And let's say that each family, each family has four family members. Those are those, so those are people, four people, each family. So the question is, um, how many people are there in total? Okay, so let's start off, let's draw the three families. I have one family. I have two families, and I have three families. Um, each family has four family members, so I'm going to put four family members in each of these families. So I have one, two, three, four. In this family, I have one, two, three, four. And in this last family, I also have four. How many people are there in total? So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I could also add all four. So I'll have 4 plus 4 plus 4. That equals 12, right? Because 4 plus 4 plus 4. Plus four. Now multiplication is just another way of writing four plus four plus four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write the three families times times um, the four people in each family. So that equals also twelve. So, th so this is another way of saying this. Um, let's say I have, I have four $10 bills, $10 bills. So for ten, let me let me draw the ten dollar bills. I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And each of these are worth ten dollars, right? Ten dollar bills. Okay, so put the face here so how many how much money do I have is the question how much money do I have in total total dollars So what I can do is I can add the ten dollar bills. I can add ten plus ten plus ten, and then this ten. That equals that equals <clears throat> forty dollars. So these are all. These are all ten dollars, right? Equals forty dollars. Or I can write I can write four times ten. <clears throat> Which equals forty. 
because I have one, two, three, four, four tens. Again, these these are the uh, different ways of seeing forty dollars. Uh, so let's put this four dollar sign here. <clears throat> anyway, um, hope that helps. Bye.